Howard here. Hey guys, uh, today was gonna be my first solo taste test where I take the bike out to go out to the middle of the woods and uh, try some dehydrated meals. Uh, I seem to have gotten caught <laughs> in some pretty, uh, pretty crazy rain. So right now I'm gonna go seek some uh, shelter. Hopefully we can find, I know there's some cabins around here find something with a porch or something where we can we can shoot this taste test so all right let's hit the hit the trail I got caught in a a lot of rain. It was it was pouring out. This isn't my ideal spot. I want to do it in the middle of the woods, but I found this awesome little uh, little picnic area. So it's even got a fireplace back there. This is my first ever uh, solo taste test. Usually have somebody with me, but. Today, we'll be reviewing Mountain House dehydrated food. I got both Mexican style rice and chicken, which sounds delightful. And then, you know, your freeze dried spaghetti with meat sauce. That can't be good, right? <laughs> There's no way that could be good. Uh, and the deal with these is you just add two cups of water in, stir, you wait 10 minutes and enjoy your meal. It's ideal for hunting, fishing, hiking, biking, what we're doing today. So I brought my little one cup measuring cup here. Let's crack these bad boys open. Remove those do not eat tabs. Oh, that looks interesting. Ooh, a waff of spaghetti smell that came out of that. <laughs> oh man. Got the do not eat tab. That's weird. Take a look inside of these. That's the spaghetti and meat sauce. And then I'm weird, right? There's your Mexican style rice. It says to use near boiling water. That's what I did. I put uh, boiling water in a canteen. It was, uh, you know, burning the back of my uh, shoulder on my pack the whole uh, whole ride. <laughs> All right, water's added. Stir these up, seal them up, and then 10 minute wait till we can enjoy. All right, so it's been 10 minutes and uh, you should be ready. Also, the, the rain has stopped absolutely downpouring. It's now more of a more of a drizzle. So I might be able to get out of here without uh, ruining my cell phone. And <laughs> All right, so freeze-dried Mexican-style rice and chicken with tomato, peppers, and olives. All we did was add water to it. I mean, you can't, I don't think you can compare it to something that's fresh. You know, you got to really take it for what it is. I mean, it's got chunks of chicken in there. I don't know how you freeze-dry friggin' chicken. Still getting a couple of kind of, kind of uh, crunchy bits where I might not have had enough time to for the water to soak in. But honestly, it's really good. Not even like just I'm going camping. I'll throw this in here for survival good. I mean, it's like could eat it every day. Good. 
This one, man, I'd say nine out of 10. Honestly, nine out of 10. That's fantastic. Now to the uh, spaghetti with meat sauce. This one I do not have high hopes for. Something about, I don't like the, the canned spaghetti. Like anything that like has a lot of preservatives in it usually doesn't taste that great. So I don't really have, I don't have high hopes for the old spaghetti meat sauce here. It doesn't smell bad. Also doesn't smell like home cooking. Oh, big old bite. It's all right. It tastes a lot like SpaghettiOs. Honestly, I mean, I'm diving back in here. We've also been pedaling for a while, so I'm pretty hungry. Uh, I mean, that's easier to carry if you are out camping than actual cans of SpaghettiOs, but I mean, that's essentially what you're getting here. Each of these cost, uh, actually one of them was $6, one of them was 7 And they have about two and a half to three servings in each one. So, I mean, probably two people could eat, eat one bag for a meal. Man, what do I give that? What do I give that? Yeah, six, six out of ten. Six out of ten for old Howie. So all in all, not bad. Uh, I picked these up on Amazon. You can probably find them in store. I mean, they gotta be like Gander Mountain and Dick Sporting Goods, that sort of, those sort of stores. All right, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little uh, taste test adventure. Uh, sun is out, and hopefully I can get home. I'm gonna get a little bit more muddy. The trails are... The trails are pretty muddy, but get home without uh, too much of a downpour here. <laughs> Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, I hope you'll consider subscribing and checking out some more videos from us. There's a link to Kix's page below, if you enjoyed what you saw, give us a thumbs up.